Okay guys, here I am with another declutter video and this time I am doing my single eyeshadows, my duos, my cream eyeshadow sticks, and any pigments I may have. Um, this is just my drawer system and I have this little insert that I got from Target. When we get them out, then I'll show you more about that. Um, so hopefully this will get cleaned up. So let's just... Um, let me get out my Clinique eyeshadows and I'll be right back. Okay guys, these are all my Clinique eyeshadows. I do have one more, but it is an older one that's been discontinued and it is Lucky Penny. I have talked about it before. I left it at my parents' house the last time I was there and it is one of my favorites. So let's get started. These first off are two duos that are um, discontinued. This is Sunset Glow. It is a gorgeous kind of like gray champagne and this the texture looks really bad. It's kind of like a melon color, but they are so pretty together. I've had this so long. That peachy color, I mean, I probably almost hit pan on it. I remember reading once before that this was something Megan Fox liked. And um, after I had it, of course. But, you know, she was real popular there for a while. So that tells you about when I got that. But I love it, love it. The next one is called Strawberry Fudge, and I know it was super popular. This is kind of like a pinky gold color, and it's kind of like a warm brown, and I have used this duo a ton, and I love it. These are two I just cannot be without, and if you have them still, pull them out. If you ever get a chance to purchase them, I don't even know if you'd be able to, but definitely get it. It is really good. Okay, the next one is, I believe, another discontinued one. But it is foxy and it is a gorgeous kind of cool taupey gray um i don't i'm not going to get rid of it but i do need to use it more because it is very pretty and then a next one i have which is probably discontinued too because i think this is my last old one is strike it rich and it is a gorgeous it is just this pretty golden um I mean, it's almost like melting lava. And I have one that's new from them that is called At Dusk. And I'm going to compare the two and show you. Because I think they are pretty similar. Not quite, but they're that really warm gold that, like, you almost look like you're wearing orange. This is the new one. What do I call it? At Dusk. So I'm going to keep it... Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to keep them both. I'm not doing so good. I really like my Clinique eyeshadows. And these are the rest of the that I have left. This is Sunset Glow. It is really, really, really pretty. Um, I'm going to keep it. This is Hazy. Really pretty as well. This is Peach Pop, I believe. I need to start using these. This is Black Honey. And this one is Olive Am I Martini. And it is a olive green shade. So I think I'm going to keep all of these. Um, that was a pretty unsuccessful purge. But I will be right back with my NARS. Here we are with my NARS. Um, as you can see, I really liked my Clinique ones. And I really like my NARS. But I think I already have two in mind that I will probably be getting rid of. So let's just start with the duos first. This is Alhambra. You can see it has been well loved. It is just kind of peachy gold colors. I really like it. It is a good, easy, no fuss, no muss look. This is Kalahari and it is really pretty. You kind of give yourself a little daytime smoky look with it and it's beautiful. This is Kuala Lumpur. I picked it up last year around fall time. I haven't even given it any attention. I need to. Next is... What is this? All About Eve. It is a perfect travel neutral kind of thing. Um, I need to use it more. It's great. This is, I cannot pronounce the name, so I'm going to show you. Jolie Poupe. Okay, I do not know why I picked this up. It is not a me color. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this. I never even t 
touched it. What is wrong with me? Okay, this is Kawaii. I recently got this. Haven't even used it yet. I need to. I will not get rid of this one. And last but not least is Cordura. It is probably my favorite that I have. And it looks the most dupable and non-special, but it is so pretty. If you haven't heard me rave about it or Makeup by Tiffany D, then you need to go look at about that and possibly get it. Okay, next is Galapagos. It is probably as dark as I go for the crease and it is really pretty and it is great. Next is Coconut Groove. Coconut Groove or Coconut Grove, I'm not sure. You can see I've probably touched it once, maybe twice. Um, it is so dark and you know what? It's just not something I use. So I'm going to get rid of it as well. I mean, as you can see, the container is like pristine. The next one is Lola Lola. This is my ideal lid or crease shade if I want some color. So I need to use it more. These last three are all so similar that I'm going to have to look at them. This one is Ashes to Ashes. It's a perfy taupe. This is Cairo, I believe, and Ondine. They're all kind of taupey and really pretty. I'm just going to keep them. So, so far, we're getting rid of two. Not bad. Not bad. Huh. We have a lot more to go. Okay, I will be back with my Chanel's. I'm going to head this off by telling you I'm not getting rid of these because I love them all. And... I obviously love their topes, but some of these are so special. This was Beige LeMay. It is so pretty. Vert Khaki. Gris Gris. Fauve or Fauve. Safari. And Taupe Gris. Um, I'm going to keep them all. So, okay. Next, I'm going to pull out my MAC large single eyeshadows. And I hope we can get rid of some of them. Okay, these are my large MAC eyeshadows. Um, okay, this is unflappable. It is like a dark, dark taupe, I guess you could say. I actually do quite like this for the outer corner. The size that it is will last me a lifetime for the amount that I use it, but oh well. The next one is Carefree. It is like a white gold. It is like Mary Luminizer, NARS, Albatross, all that jazz. Um... It is gorgeous, but you know what? I don't need it, and I've barely even used it. It would make a great highlight on the cheek. I'm going to get rid of it as well. Next, another one of these large ones is Hot Paprika. I really love these kind of shades, so I'm going to keep it. Um, I did pick this up at the CCO last summer. It is pretty, pretty. And then this was from when MAC did that. It was like style or something like that. It was all about black. This is Young Punk. I've hardly ever touched it, and I just need to get real. It is gorgeous, but it is just not something I'm going to use. So I'm going to get rid of it. Next are these kind. And I don't know why I buy them. I don't use them. This one was one of the first ones I ever purchased. It's Love Connection. And I will be honest with you, my sister picked it up as well, and she has used the entire one up. But it is like one of those chunky shimmers. And then this one is like the smooth. I don't know if you can see the difference. This is Snow Season. It came out with one of those holiday collections. They provide the exact same result. This one is smooth. So I'm going to keep it and I'm going to get rid of Love Connection. And then out of these two, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um... I think I'm going to get rid of this one. It is called Hold That Pose. It is, I swatched them on my hand. Do you see that taupey one, um, second from the right on the bottom? That's what it is. It's very pretty, but I don't need a taupe. You know what I mean? I have plenty. I'm going to get rid of that. And then the next one is this. It's very pretty. Oh, look at that. It is called Winterized. And it is the last one on the right. And for the record, Young Punk is the top one. And then Love Connection is the one on the left. Um, so Winterized is the one far on the right. And it is kind of like a taupey purple. But you know what? I have a lot of other things that same shade. So I'm going to get rid of them. The second from the left is that one I am keeping though. So that's those. 
that is those. Last but not least, I have my pressed pigments. I'm going to keep all of them because some people love them, some people hate them. I personally, ugh, I personally really, really love them. So I'm going to keep them. Okay, I will probably be back with my small Mac singles. Hold on. Okay, here I am with my small Mac singles. I usually depot them. These two are the special ones I can't. This one I just kept because it has special packaging. And these I just haven't depotted. Um, this is Divine Decadence. I don't even remember where it came from. <laughs> like, I don't have a clue on connect collection or anything. It's my kind of color. I don't want to get rid of it. This is Body Conscious. I really like that. This is Tempting. Same with that. This is Stolen Moment. It is a gorgeous taupe. I want to keep. This is Jaunty. I really like it for every day. And this is a Natural Flirt. It is pretty. It is one of those kind of, um, I don't want to say Mother of Pearl kind of things, but it is. It is very gorgeous. It's one of those extra dimension ones, but I am going to part with it. So, so far that's my purge pile. So I'm doing good. And you know what, guys? After I do this, I'm sure I will come back and later purge some more. So next, I'm just going to pull out all my random singles that I have left. It's probably going to be a lot. And we'll get on with those. Okay, I said I'd be back with the rest of mine. Um, no, we're going to have to do that in two stages because this is only half of them. Okay, I can already tell you I'm going to get rid of a few. Okay, first off, let me just start with my Burberry ones. I'm not going to get rid of any. This is Pale Barley, Midnight Brown, and Rosewood. They're all gorgeous, so they're staying. As are, this is my new NARS Himalaya. I forgot to include it with my NARS. It's obviously staying. This is Laura Mercier, the Rose Gold. I'm keeping it. I have two Victoria's Secrets. This is... um. Private Beach and Between the Sheets. I'm keeping Between the Sheets. I'm going to get rid of Private Beach. I mean, um, but yes, Private Beach. I'm sorry. Keep them Between the Sheets. I only have two single Urban Decay. This is Cherry. I picked this up once when Tiffany D talked about it. It's hardly been touched. It's kind of like a light, light, light pink, almost white. I'm going to get rid of that. And Midnight Cowboy. It has a pretty serious divot in it. I used to really like it. It's one of those kind of white golds. I'm going to get rid of it. Elf Toasted. Somebody raved about this and I picked it up. And I, I just don't reach for it. So I'm going to get rid of it. This is a Jordana Good Match. It is like... I don't use it, but I can't bring myself to get rid of it. It's kind of that matte bone and that matte crease. And I just think this is the perfect travel companion. I don't use it, but it was cheap. It's chips. I might as well keep it, you know. CoverGirl Tapestry Taupe. If you do not have this eyeshadow and you like taupes, get thee to the drugstore now. Okay. Urban Decay Mushroom. This is a little baby sample. I'm going to keep it. I do like it. This is two more Urban Decays. These are those that come in that weird packaging. This one is underground. It's kind of a more darker brownie taupe. And this is Ruthless. And it's more of a, you can see, a little gray. I'm going to keep them both. They're really good colors. Okay, Hard Candy High Maintenance. This is a really pretty duo. I'm going to keep it. And then I have two of those Sigma, I mean Sephora Prone ones. This is the Metallic Taupe and this is Metallic Beige. I'm going to keep them both. Okay, one more round and then we should be done with the eyeshadows and on to the pencil sticks.
guys here we are back with these I do have some pigments um so I guess we'll do that next okay first off I have two Stila eyeshadows kitten and cloud I do want to keep them um I'm not ready to get rid of them this is Ulta brand in Twilight it is a really dark taupe really dark I'm gonna get rid of it because it is too similar to one of my Chanel's La Mitié de Beauté Corinthian. That's what it looks like. I'm going to keep it. It is freaking gorgeous. But I'll tell you what. This is a Sigma shadow right beside it. Sigma in Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Okay. This is Corinthian. This is Notre Dame. Um, gosh, such a taupe whore. I'm going to have to keep them both for right now. Okay, speaking of Sigma, beware. It's one of those light pinks, very pretty. I'm going to part with it. I don't use it, you know. I can only keep so much. NYX Black, it is one of the most extreme blacks on earth. Um, I'll keep it, just I don't know why. NYX Ice Mocha, get rid of it, and NYX Root Beer, it's another taupe, it's pretty dark, I'll get rid of it. <clears throat> okay, I have two Wet n Wild singles, Brulee and Nutty, they're both fabulous, Brulee, I've gone through a few of these, Nutty is a fabulous taupe, amazing. Okay, this may be funny to y'all, these are my Jane eyeshadows, what is that you might say, well girls, and boys, this is Jane from when it was in the drugstore originally. This is Brownie Points. It was, back in the day, it was a color that people wanted. It is like a pretty brown, reddish brown. And you know what? I don't use it. So I'm going to get rid of it because, you know, I don't use it. Okay, these are my two new Jane eyeshadows. This is Dawn. It's rose gold. It's gorgeous. And passion flower. It's, you know what? A taupey purple. Okay, this is Sephora and Queen for a Day. Look at that. It was a little baby sample. Um, I don't use it. I'm going to get rid of it. I'll have to screw it on in a minute. This is a Lorac in Jade. There was this Lorac palette at one point. I'm sure it still is out. It looks kind of lacy, I think. Oh, maybe not. Anyways, I only wanted it for this color, so I got that. And you know what? I haven't even used it, but I'm going to keep it. And this is Laura Mercier Black, Black Carrot. Same thing. I always really want to get into these olive greens. Okay, this is one of those L'Oreal Hip ones in Electrify. This was so hard to find and so popular for so long. Um, It's kind of like that NARS Kawaii, but not. I'm keeping it because I do love it. I have an Estee Lauder Duo in Raisins and a single in Hot Cinnamon. I'm going to keep them both. So, so far this is the giveaway pile. Um, or get rid of, whatever. You know, pretty good. Pretty good. Not quite as good as that, but I'm keeping. Life of a ugh, makeup hoarder. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, these are my pigments. Now these three... I do not know for the life of me where this came from. It's a taupey color. Um, it is pretty, but I think I'm going to get rid of it. It is really cute, though. I don't know. I may keep it. And this is a loose glitter dust. I'm not even going to open. That needs to be tossed. And this is a Caboodles loose glitter. Oh, God, from high school. I've kept it because I'm like, oh, God, what if I need it for, like, Halloween or... No, Daylene, you're not going to be using it. Okay, these are my loose pigments from MAC. I have had many jars over the years, and I would get to the point to where I'm like, I'm not going to use them. I'm going to separate them with my friends and just take the other one back to MAC. This is Coco. It has long been discontinued, or it was a limited edition. It was perfect. This is Emerald Dusk. This is Mauve. Mauve something. Oh. I don't know. Vanilla, violet. What is 
that. Starts with an I. Who knows? Jordan Ayers, Deck Chair Naked, and Rose. I also have Tan, and this is that L'Oreal Intrepid. I really like that. Um, I thought I had Melon. Guess not. Oh, well. And then I have some from Bare Minerals. This is Snazzy Celestine, Queen Tiffany, Nude Beach, and Snowflake. I'm going to get rid of Snowflake. It is just a white. It's pretty, but I just don't use it. You can see I've probably used it one time. So I'm not getting, I'm going to get rid of that little thing. Okay. Didn't get rid of a lot there, but you know, these little bitty pigments, I mean, I don't see any harm in having those. Last but not least are my eyeshadow pencils. So hold on. These are my eyeshadow pencils. It is a lot, but I really love eyeshadow pencils. So I'm not going to feel bad about it. Um, and one reason these were kind of like on top, I'll show you this. These two things are cream cream highlighters. So I'm, um, I'm not taking them out. But this is that Target thing. It's in like the home or bathroom organization. I don't know, but I really like it. Anyways, a lot of these were toppled up on top because I, <laughs> tongue tied. I keep them at my everyday thing because some I use all the time. So that explains. Okay, let's get started. First off is the Trish McAvoy, and this is Rose Quartz. I love it. This is one of those Tarte Smolder Eyes. It is in moss. I do love it. Clinique Chubby Stick in Lavish Lilac. I love it. Um, this is one of those Makeup Forever Aqua Shadows, 22E. Um, I need to use it some more. This I forgot I even had. It's the Chanel cream eyeshadow in pink lagoon i need to give it some love clinique lots of latte love it the tart smolder and um smoke mm, i don't know i'm gonna keep it i'm kind of getting into those gray colors this is that revlon one in Torch. I'm going to get rid of it. This is the By Terry and Bronze Moon, I believe. Um, it's new. I'm going to keep it. NYX and Yogurt. I don't even think I've ever used it. Maybe once. I'm going to get rid of it. Those smudge for me. Um, this is Ice Mocha. All the labels come off. I used to use it a lot. But I have since replaced it with the Laura Mercier Amethyst. So I'm going to get rid of it. Speaking of, there is the Amethyst. I love it. And I have Rose Gold. It is not my favorite, but I do want to keep it. This is one of those matte grease paint sticks in French Quarter. Ooh. Let me see if it's still smooth. Still good and creamy, so I'm going to keep it because it is pretty. But I do have another one that's just the original. It's kind of a purple. And it is, um, I mean, it is old. It's the top one, but I had to go over it a few times. It was pretty dried out and skippy. So I'm going to back to Mac that. Okay, another Tarte Smolder Eyes in Golden Beige. I'm going to keep it. A Sephora Jumbo Crayon Waterproof in... Taupe. I'm going to keep it. It was pretty good. Another tart one in Espresso. These I got in a gift set if you're wondering why I have so many. Well, I think that's probably the least of your questions right now. This is the Milani in Almond Cream. It is a great beige. I'm keeping it for sure. Clinique Ample Amber. I need to get rid of it. Ha ha. Just kidding, guys. In case you don't watch my videos regularly, that is like one of my fave things ever. Makeup Forever Aqua Shadow in 26E. I'm going to keep it as well. Okay, a Tarte Smolder Eyes in Silver Black. Um, I might have used it once. I'm going to get rid of it. I just, I don't need it. Okay, I have a few more. This is the Clinique Bountiful Beige. I'm going to keep it. 
Rimmel Scandal Eyes Cream Eyeshadow and Bulletproof Beige. Pretty, but I'm going to get rid of it. I have a few. This is my new Marc Jacobs Twinkle Pops in three shakes, so I'm keeping it. This is a tart one in violet. I'm keeping it. Another Milani in, I think, Champagne Toast. I'm going to keep it. Urban Decay in Sin. I'm going to get rid of it. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. It's still nice and creamy, but it's not a color I use. Okay, this is from Rouge Bunny Rouge. I think it says Atlas Swallowtail 56. Um, it is a cream eyeshadow and a doe foot, and it is a taupe. It's why I bought it. Um, I've never even used it, but I'm not going to get rid of it because I need to try it at least. So, um, that's what I'm keeping of those. It may seem excessive, but I really do love my cream eyeshadow sticks, and I don't want to get rid of any of them. That's the ones I'm keeping. Gosh, that is way too much. But this is what I'm getting rid of. Um, not too impressive, but nonetheless good. Um, I'm sure nobody's interested in my cream eyeshadow sticks, but if you are interested, I do have the Bare Minerals Snowflake. That, I don't know if you're interested in the Sigma, Jane, um, the Urban Decay, those MAC ones may be interesting, and the NARS Coconut Grove and Jouer Poupe. You saw before when I said I was getting rid of it, I didn't change anything, so if there's anything you're interested in, feel free to let me know. If not, no hurt feelings. This is a declutter video, nothing more. I think I'm going to quit telling y'all that in each video. It's redundant, but I just want to stress that I'm, you know. Anyways, that is all. Well, hold on, guys. I'm going to put everything back in my drawer, and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, guys. It looks so much better, doesn't it? Um, Here are just some of the round ones. Here are the square ones all lined up with some thicker ones, leaning them up. These are the single max. These are the Clinique's. NARS Chanel with um, Wet and Wild. That's really classy, isn't it? Wet and Wild with Chanel. Um, those are the loose, one, loose ones. And then lined up at the top, I have my cream ones. And you may think that's kind of messy, but to me, I pretty much know what I have. Or at least I know shades. And a lot of these I'm going to take out anyways because they go in my everyday makeup section. So it's not going to be that compact. But I have to say, I think the drawer looks so much better it was, it was probably one of my better drawers, I'm not going to lie, but I still hated to get into it because it was just a mess, and now it looks so much better. So, that is all. Thank y'all for watching, and I will see y'all later. Bye.